Frequently in the weeks, the days, even the hours leading up to a big game, people will ask me what I think will happen. What's my prediction? And I always explain, I'm not trying to be rude, but I never give predictions. And that's for two reasons. One, I don't think I'm smart enough to actually look into the future and say what's going to happen. I'm not Nostradamus. But two, and more importantly, I don't want to fall for the trap of broadcasting what I expect to see in a game instead of broadcasting what I really do see in a game. Frequently, I encounter business leaders and business presenters who fall for that trap. They expect certain market conditions. They expect a certain reception. They expect a certain type of audience. They expect certain conditions. And when those things don't happen, they're not even aware of it because they're still tied to their expectations. If you get too tied to expectations, it slows down your ability to make adjustments. It slows your ability to turn on a dime, to connect with the audience, to make a good decision based on the market conditions, based on the reality that's in front of you, instead of having a pair of glasses in front of you that are shielding your vision because these glasses are the glasses of expectations. Expectations lead to disappointment, slow reactions, and major mistakes in our decision making. Instead of simply forgetting the expectations, develop the habit, don't make predictions, don't get married to expectations, and stay dialed into the reality that's right in front of you. And if that reality happens to fit what maybe you were thinking it would be, great. But if the reality is far different and you're not married to expectations, you can be present in the moment, you can serve the audience, you can react to the market conditions, you can be a more effective leader and presenter.